Mongoose Jake here with my review of Nerf's AccuStrike Raptor Strike. Yeah, say that, say that real fast. Nerf AccuStrike Raptor Strike. But that that is what this is. It is a blaster that is the largest that comes with the AccuStrike darts. You know, meant to be, of course, improved accuracy, much like Busby has their Precise Pro, and those are genuinely good darts. Maybe not quite as good as the Busby Precise Pros, but hey, we're going to stay positive here. What this blaster is, is magazine-fed, spring-powered, bolt action. I have, I have not actually permanently installed my bolt. I've been running it like this because I intend to modify mine. But you can prime it back, either remove the magazine or install the magazine by hitting the forward trigger. That's a very nice design that I actually like quite a lot. In, and then by doing that, now you can fire. It includes my package that I picked up, actually included targets and multiple six round magazines and extra darts. I got, I got mine through walmart.com and that was a really, really nice package deal. If they still have it available, I'll put that in the link below. However, you've seen me unbox it on this channel months ago and I've been running it off and on since then. It's not just a nice looking decoration on my wall, but it actually is a very functional blaster. Now, it has a jam door here above the magazine, but, and this is going to sound very coopish, but I actually haven't had any jams or malfunctions using this blaster, and I've used it off and on for months. So, haven't had a need for that yet. Has a little flip up ladder sight, and while some people are kind of bummed about the lack of tactical rails on the top, I actually like these sights. Uh, one of my favorite pistols, the Busby Zenith, also has a flip up ladder sight. And I do wish that they had put a rail with this included, kind of like the old long strike, which I am trying to get rid of my long strike, but that is, that is kind of what this is, is like the modern sniper rifle. And I think it, I think it effectively takes the place of that long strike there, which mine, mine I've, I've modded up with a Orange Mod Works Immortal kit, and I'm running a seven kilogram spring in that. So I have a good comparison of a large rifle to compare to. And I think this does the job of comparing to that very well. And back to the ladder sight. The, the uh, long strike came with one. I kind of wish that, and there was, the long strike was a click on attachment, whereas this is built in. It's spring loaded and you just simply push it down, has one little button right there, and you can quickly put it right back down. Now, one thing that it has also, very reminiscent of the long strike, is a magazine storage slot in the stock. Of course, Long Strike had two of them, one on each side, but this is quite nice. And moving on to what I think of the ergonomics. Now, the grip is fantastic. Nerf's done an excellent job with this blaster. The stock is sized for an adult, so I wouldn't recommend this for a smaller kid. If you're a parent watching my video, uh, no, this is definitely not for a child. This, this would be for you to purchase to have fun with your kids. Or, hey, be a big kid yourself. Grab one of these and take on your neighbors and or the family and friends at a cookhouse and whatnot. But this is sized for an adult. The handguard is not intrusive. The grip is fantastic. The you notice I'm using proper safety, which I am I am an actual shooter. I even competed in uh, target competitions back some years ago. But this thing, one of the few blasters that kind of it almost feels like they kept it in mind that you're not actually supposed to place your finger on the trigger until you're ready to fire because the whole trigger well is very smooth, very ergonomic. The blaster itself has multiple places that you can hold with your non-firing arm. I mean, I can place my hand here, which is this is kind of a carry handle as well. I can place my hand in front of the magazine if I have really long reach or right here. Either or, it feels comfortable. If I'm just holding it like this, I'll place my hand under here. There is one uh, rail, and what comes with the blaster is a bipod. Bipods are of limited use, but this one's pretty neat. The bipod itself clicks into the rail, the legs independently fold down, and then they extend by pulling, and then if you push a button on the back, you can then collapse the leg back in and fold it up. So, neat little attachment. I don't really use it with mine because it kind of just gets in the way. But you could place other things here, such as well, aftermarket companies make magazine holders. 
you put a flashlight under there, which would be a perfect place for a flashlight if you did nighttime Nerf Wars, that would be ideal. But overall, fit, finish, uh, features and functions, this thing is perfect ergonomics. It even has a cheek rest built into the stock. So that is very nice. Nerf did a very good job on the ergonomics of this for a larger person. And I mean larger just simply as in overall size, not a kid. This is not something you're going to hand to a 10 year old and them do well with. This is for a teenager or an adult, unless your kid's a really big 12 year old or so. But I'm thinking teenager to adult is what they intended with this. But overall, fit, feel, finish, ergonomics, all top tens. It's, you know, scores tens across the board. I don't see anything that they could have done better. You know, the only thing that I would mention is possibly make the stock removable. But hey, it's integrated, it works great, it's comfy, it's the right length, it's the right size, so I can't really complain about that. Now on to the actual performance and function of the blaster as a you know, dart firing blaster. The bolt action is smooth, very smooth. You just pump it. Very easy to get a good rate of fire out of this bolt action. I think better so better than the you know famous Nerf Retaliator with its top prime. I think this is easier to use. I could run through a six-round magazine no problem. And while we're on the subject, this will take drums. There's a 25. Let's release that. Here's a 35. The shell does not prohibit you from using other magazines and things such as drums. So this could be a very high capacity blaster if you chose to make it so. So what do I think of it as far as performance? Well, it shoots at elite level performance. It's basically a slightly modified um, retaliator plunger tube and whatnot inside. It's it uses a slightly longer spring than a retaliator, and I have already ordered aftermarket springs to upgrade this because I will be modding this. I like it well enough. I will mod it, and I'm gonna put a poll in in the uh, video here. You just look for it up at the top. I don't. I'm gonna let the viewers decide. I have the springs right here. I have a seven kilogram or a twelve kilogram build. We can, I'm going to do one or the other, and then the other spring, it is a retaliator diameter, just a little bit longer. The other spring will get used in a different build. But let me know what you want to see. I'll, I'll do either one, because I think this thing can handle it. I might have to do some reinforcement, but if I run the 12 kilogram, it'll take this, I believe it'll take the 7 kilogram with no modifications other than remove the locks, remove the AR, and then go from there. And you'll have a pretty good performer. Uh, 12 kilogram will turn this thing into a very high powered blaster but also it may need some modifications to make it more durable to handle that or gonna have a broken raptor strike i'd say long term but i'm gonna put both options up there and you tell me what you think as the viewers and i'll take it into account so what would i say is my final opinion i say this thing's a buy um i'm not the I'm not totally sold on Nerf. I'm not 100% like the biggest Nerf fan in the world because I think all companies offer something. This is something that they did right. I know other reviewers on YouTube have kind of went down on this, but not me. This is something Nerf did right. It feels good, it, the finish is good, the function it has been flawless. And despite not having rails or anything, I, I think it looks great. I mean. I don't think I would consider painting this. This is one blaster that I just would do the, the normal mods that you do to a spring powered Nerf blaster. Take out the air restrictor, remove the locks, put in a higher powered spring, and call it a day. And since it can take drums, I think this thing could actually be practical for people who are actually into the hobby of playing Nerf competitively. But this is Mongoose Jake with my review of Nerf's Raptor Strike. And I do appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you're a subscriber. Share it around. I would appreciate seeing some support for the channel because I do hope to grow this channel. I have a goal of uh, breaking the 1,000 mark by the end of the year. 
because I'd like to actually help get the channel to help out with me attending some major events next year, including running to end war. But I'll I'll leave that up to you guys. But for now, I do appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed my review. Again, it's a longer shape with my review of the Nerf After Strike Raptor Strike.